Hello everyone, my name is Jamie Wotasik. I am the Director of Instruction at the Pennsylvania Gunsmith School. Also, I am the brand ambassador for a great line of Pittsburgh-based cleaning chemicals known as United States Cleaning Products. There's a great cleaner degreaser spray, there's bore paste, there's liquid bore cleaner, there's a light oil, all kind of great stuff to clean your guns. Maybe you've seen us locally at the show. Maybe you follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Cleaner bores, meaner scores, United States cleaning products. Um, it's almost turkey season. So we're going to clean a little turkey shotgun here. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for using the bore paste. If you haven't seen this before, the bore paste is kind of thick. It's a garnet based abrasive little bit of abrasive in there to help you polish away some of the unwanted. in this case um, wad fouling wad buildup carbon um, in your rifles it's going to be you know carbon and copper buildup what this does is genius it polishes away all these unwanted materials rather than get some harsh solvent to get in there and try and dissolve the copper and potentially etch your bore we're just going to polish it away um, it cuts down the time. There's no smell. I wish you could all appreciate the fact that none of this stuff stinks. I think that's one of the most impressive things about the whole product line, including the, uh, the aerosols and the, the sprayer there, the degreaser. Um, I have an endo snake boar snake here. I'm going to put it down the barrel right now. I hope you can see this. I hope it translates well on video. I like to use these and show how dingy and gross a barrel is. Um, it really goes a long way to look inside and see all those shadowy streak marks. That's copper buildup. That's carbon from firing these shotgun shells down there. But real quick, we're gonna we're gonna clean it up. I'm going to use a piece of brass cleaning rod. Um, with a shotgun, it's even easier than a rifle, but either way I do the same thing. I take my copper brush Sometimes a smaller than diameter bore brush is good for doing shotguns and stuff I take my patch and I put it over top of the the copper brush and let it hang on to itself there like that Then I'm gonna take a liberal amount of bore paste I'm gonna smear this all over it Get a nice bunch of paste on here so we get lots of good contact. And rifles, pistols, shotguns, I do them all the same way. I stuff this in there and just work it back and forth. If you have a rifle, I recommend a bore guide. If you have a pistol, take the barrel off. If you have a shotgun, if you can always disassemble the gun down to here, that's great. And then we're going to work it back and forth. If it's a little too undersized, as this one may be, we're going to clean it up. But just pushing it through, I want to show you that it took a lot of carbon and junk out of it. I'm going to take this patch off, put a bigger brush on. I'm going full bore this time. I'm going to go right to a 20 gauge brush here. Do that same patch. See if we can get a tighter fit. Put a little more compound on here so we hit the right spots. This makes gun cleaning so fast and easy. You should really appreciate the time that you don't have to spend letting a solvent set up. There we go. We've got some good contact now. And you just kind of scrub. And when you, what you're doing while you scrub that is you're polishing all those imperfections out. And a tip for some of you, if you have available a rod, even an old cleaning rod, some broken rods, if you can piece them out so there's no handle on there, I got another little trick for you. Check this out. Take my cordless drill, tighten it on there. We're just going to let it work for us. This is better on shotguns. I wouldn't do the cordless drill trick on, trick on a rifle or a pistol barrel, anything with rifling, but for this, it's magic. the chamber area what you'll see is a real dirty disgusting patch so you know you got a lot of work cut cut out a lot of time cut out for you 
you know, when you're doing this with the harsh solvents, you know, as you dissolve it, you're pushing green patch, blue patch, green patch, blue patch, and you're praying for a clean patch. Well, this polishing it out is going to do it in almost no time. So I'm going to follow that dirty, bore pasted patch up with a cleanie. Take most of that out. Comes out a lot cleaner after that. One more patch. A little bit of red oil. What's nice about a red oil is really, really thin. I have it in a in a sprayer. So let's put a little bit of that on there. Just push it right through. And that should have pulled out most of what you have left. Might need to do that one or two times. Take a look. Very nice. Hopefully this translates on video and you're able to appreciate just how clean and mirror polished this looks. Maybe I can give you another light to check it out. There we go. Very shiny, very smooth. This cuts down on wad drag and shot drag. It'll help your gun be more accurate in a rifle and a pistol, but very easy. That's about all it takes. It doesn't take much more time than that. You can use the cleaner and degreaser while you're here. Break out your small parts and trigger groups if you want. Get a little cleaner degreaser and a brush in there. Knock out the loose parts. You know how to clean a gun. I don't have to tell everybody. If you found us, you're probably already a firearms fanatic and you appreciate clean guns. You know, this is how you do it. I just want to really show you the secret of the quick and easy bore paste. Garnet-based abrasive. Think jewelry polish. Think uh, some of the old-timey gun cleaning methods. I could tell you that a lot of the barrel manufacturing industry uses these products as well. Um, again, I don't know if this translates or not, but that is one shiny mirror bore. Almost so much so that I can't point the light directly at you. So, if you have any more questions or tips, please reach out to me. Again, cleaner bores underscore meaner scores on Instagram. United States Cleaning Products um, for Facebook. This is some of the brands. There's a square store, unitedstatesproducts.com. You can find it through there. We're local. We're Pittsburgh. Give us a call. We can help you out. I'm at the school every day. Jamie of all, Master of Guns. If you want to find me on Instagram, do that. And happy hunting.